today the story continues the saga if you will but ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is jack the bus and venland saga does continue today and last episode i think we really saw the shattering of thorfinn's sort of i guess like innocence i mean he was already pretty broken from losing his father but i think the last one we watched kind of like cemented it in that broken comb and him thinking about his his sister and his mom but i think like what they would think about the person that he is today and maybe even his father like looking down on him gonna hop right into normani if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started england 10 12 this makes me want to go watch like more documentaries and stuff about vikings in general is this like very accurate about everything that happened turning point jelling denmark or is it yelling oh the king oh wait no to be the leader of the vikings no but it would be the king because he uses the vikings and we kind of saw him in the intro so the armies are chilling for the winter until summer because it's so hard to move with the cold i wonder if it's like the whole first season will build to the war at the end yeah what are they gonna do all winter Asgard seems so, like, just carefree. Kingdom of France. Asgard's gonna go, like, third party or something? Oh, it's like a civil war. The Franks. So while they're at war with themselves, he wants to raid it. So he didn't mean, like, he's like, let's go where the food is. Like, let's go take some stuff. I can't figure out Asgard. Like, does he take pride in his men's praise? It seems like it. Well, Thorfinn just looked empty, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, dude, we're not even like halfway through the first season and Thorfinn is like a completely different character already. But I mean, it's seemingly more about like his development from this seems like more of a starting point. Or money. Also, no money, the title of the episode. Okay, it's this village. <laughs> oh. Hire some Vikings. Orphan's just like a dog. How many? Three gold. Is that a lot? Oh, from their duel. One ahead with a helmet if you want that. Like, the duel. Thorfinn's just mad because he's just waiting for his opportunity, his chance, to have proven himself. Thorfinn could screw them over. He's fine with them killing Thorfinn! Asgard is very smart. He sees, like, this nation at war with itself and sees an opportunity to, like, strike at this weak point. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they were defense. Oh! I mean, they're at war. Yeah, I would assume it's a spy. Random kid? Who is this guy? He's the leader? <laughs> yeah, like all his men are suffering. He has like this banquet out. Dang, bro. He said, you don't hire us, we'll be your enemy. Asgard didn't even really tell him to do that, did he? Oh my gosh. That's what he holds dear. What if he thinks back to what his father told him about, like, the, the, you know, not having enemies, basically. We haven't really seen him contemplate on it. I mean, his, his progression has moved so fast. There's the signal. Now they strike at nighttime? Oh, he's a general. Oh, okay. What? They're going upstream. Bro! Bro! Just like the front of the ship. Oh, there's the general. Oh, no, okay. They're going upstream and, like, setting up. Oh, it's an omen. I don't know omens. Uh, dragons were seen as an omen. There's Asgore getting set up. Bro. He <laughs> can't understand him. I was gonna say, I'm surprised the general was putting so much confidence in, into Thorfinn. I mean, he was very clearly like throwing his men at this this place, uh, Normani already. Thorfinn just sped up the next attack a little bit, I think. 
How are you guys late? So what are they gonna do? Like actually help or third party? He's sitting on a chair. Gosh, bro, this general is shameless. Head with a helmet. He wants their general. Oh, shoot. Bro, his mouth! This guy reminds me of a character from Berserk. If you read Berserk, you probably know which one. There's the dragon! Oh my! <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're not third partying. They are actually gonna genuinely help. They're just gonna take everything. He's crazy! How do they carry that? What? And Thorfinn, oh, what, bro, bro. I guess Thorfinn's kind of small. Okay, I was like, if he like clears it completely, like no problemo without like trying to like heave himself up, that's gonna be absurd. And then they use the ship, ah. Dude, hearing like the Viking drum would probably be terrifying. <laughs> now they, oh, okay, now they go around. Yeah, we could see from the, the big like overview how open the, the ocean side was. Now they have to divert forces to the, the, the sea. Just climbing up? Yeah, they didn't cover that, that side at all. Even remotely. Dude! Dude! Wait, do they have, like, better arrows? Oh, crossbows. Oh, shoot. These aren't regular bows, man. They're advanced! Oh, shoot. Now they gotta divert their attention again. Thorfinn acting kind of early, though. He's gonna get shot. But they had diverted all their attention? He's saving a lot of Askeladd's men by doing this. Askeladd just sees it as a giant loot box. Are they all just staring at him? Why are they not shooting him with, like, with arrows? He kills without hesitation. He wants that leader. Dude, the first person BOV goes crazy. Like, what swing? I'm gonna lose the head. He said earlier, do you know how many I've killed? Bro. I mean, it's like it's nothing anymore. They unlocked a gate. Got Thor's jeans in him. Yeah, how does that squad walk so confidently that he's not just gonna get randomly shot? I don't, I don't get it. Slaughtered all of them. Oh, dude, this general has to die, man. Well, I guess we'll see the full extent of Askeladd's plan with what he's planning to actually do. He's not going to take only half. Mm. His name is Yabath? It's all gone. It's all gone, baby. Oh, my gosh. They cleared him out. Not just the treasure room. Oh. This slide! He's wearing all his stuff! <laughs> Damn! Jika Chad! He used it as. Oh, okay, I see. Hey, get the boats, go get them, man! Scammers! <laughs> Bro, is it bad that Ascalon is growing on me? Oh, he's trying to find the head. I bet he's dead anyway. It's just like, he's just so chill about it. I thought he actually, like, uh, he was starting to grow on him. There's the head. Give me that duel, baby. Dude, is this it? Is that time? Son of Thor's. He can't say no. Son of Olaf? Oh, shoot. Right here? Of course. Of course it's delayed. I was ready for it. He said, I accept your duel. But first... Dude, the story of the dragon is passing. Oh, my gosh. They just straight up go down a waterfall like that? I'm trying to be as carefree as Asquad, bro. I really am. They just robbed the Franks blind and dipped. Yeah, they are set for the winter now. Holy. Thorfinn's like, God 
damn it. Just give me that duel. He's waiting. He's waiting patiently. But I feel like, especially with how quickly this show moves, next episode is it. Is the duel. I mean, how can Askeladd, you know, postpone it anymore? Ever since the death of his father, Thorfinn has asked for it. Now he finally got him to make an agreement about when they should, and he fulfilled it. So what is Askeladd to do now? And we're getting more world building. Like, now I have an idea of France and the Franks and their position in the world. I think that's what it needs to establish more is friends, foes, the different sides to things. It was like, like I said, very shocking how small the nation of France is considering like my perception of it in the modern day. I have to remind myself how small these individual groups are just vying for the top. But we also see more and more about like exactly who Asgard is, how like carefree he is and willing to just go on with a plan on a whim. Like he's just like, oh, I see this village here. I see what's going on with the Franks. I'm going to take advantage of this. He's a very confident leader and the sort of teasing with the king and this is a battle but it's really setting up for war later on i think one that will contain many many battles with more nations and groups and whatnot especially with that rat floki reporting to him man i can't stand that guy but guys that's been it for my reaction to normani absolute banger drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already it does help me out quite a bit and i'll catch you guys next time this face